What's up everybody? I'm Basil from Phenomena and I'm here today to talk to you about setting up your VR eSport arena. We're going to talk about what kind of designs you want to put on the walls, what kind of materials you can put on the floors, uh, what kind, how do you need to set up your, your, your VR arena. So yeah, keep it locked and happy to share all this information with you guys. You want to be able to have um, enough space. Now the VR eSport arena comes in 5x5 five five meters, 6x6, six 7x7, six, seven 8x8 seven, eight eight, and 6x9. Or you know 16x16, 20x20, 23x23, 27x27 or 20x30. Okay now you always want to have a, if you can, have a little bit more space. All of our arenas have about a half a meter, so about a foot and a half of buffer zone on all sides. Okay, now of course the bigger the space, the more people you can fit in. In an eight by eight meter, you can fit in eight players. In a five by five, you can fit four. And then, you know, between five by five and eight by eight, you know, just it kind of depends on the games. The more space you have, the more players you can put in and the higher return on investment you can get per square footage. You know, your arena is gonna to need to have visual markers and elements, okay? These elements and visual markers are not just random shapes okay the headset okay has these cameras in front of the, the headset and it tracks the environment and how does it track well it has image recognition and it recognizes corners shapes and patterns right so you don't want to have like repetitive sh repetitive patterns okay you want to have like you know uh, patterns that are non-repetitive um and um and these are the kind of things that it picks up and you want to be able to have like some small objects that are like really 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 close that look good and then some objects from far away that the headset can see so you can't just have all the same sizes of all the shapes so that's why our designs have different shapes uh different sizes of shapes and so the other most important other very key thing about these design patterns is to make sure you have enough contrast okay between them so if you have a gray concrete floor you don't want to have like a white layered you know shape you want to have like high contrast would be black okay so a black and if you're going with colors you know use colors as as accents because the headset the vive focus 3 headset sees everything in black and white right and it just recognizes shapes and corners. It doesn't really pick up color at all. Okay. You wanna be able to have el visual elements on the walls and on the floor, so that no matter where the headset is looking at, it's gonna pick up some visual elements, okay? Now, if you only have one wall, that's okay. You can, what you can do is you can, you know, add some, you can build some little side walls or you can use banner stands to, uh, to separate. We have all these designs available when you subscribe to the VR eSport Arena. So go ahead and subscribe now, get your free trial and get your designs, okay? All of these design elements were provided to you for free. You can grab them, you can remix them a little bit, you can add your logos. Um, but the good thing about using our designs is that not only that it looks pretty kick-ass and awesome, but we know that it works really well for the tracking. Yes, now what kind of material Okay, there's different types of materials that you can use for the wall, different type of material that you can use, then you're gonna use for the floor. So this design here, we put some vinyl stickers. So we ordered, you know, custom vinyl stickers that fit this wall and that wall. And then we had a team, you know, got it printed and then a team came over and uh, set up the, the vinyl stickers. Now these vinyl stickers, they come in rolls okay and you need a professional to install them so it is a little bit more pricey but this will give you the best look like you know, the most clean and polished look okay next up uh would be like the most cost effective solution would be a vinyl banner okay so here you can see um this is a vinyl banner over here you can see kind of see a little bit of the dip okay and you can see the grommets. These are the, the little holes where you hang the the um, the banner on. So when you have a big banner that this like this size is about like seven foot by twenty feet, um, the advantage of the banner is a really low cost. Like a, 
20 by 7 might cost you 200 bucks and you can pick up two of those no problem uh, but the you know and you can just build a frame a wooden frame on the wall and then you just screw the screw the uh, screw the screws in the grommets and then fix it that way okay so that's you know that's another very cost effective solution and the other advantage is that you can always undo it and then bring it to another venue downside is that you're never going to have that flush look that flush perfectly flush uh wall that you have here so here you can see a bit of a dip okay no matter how much you stretch there's always going to on with vinyl there's always going to be a little bit of that wiggle if you want to upgrade okay you have a little bit more money let's say you know this was like 200 bucks or two three hundred dollars like i don't i'm just giving you guess numbers right now well you can get polyester fabric and polyester fabric what's cool is that it has a bit of a stretch to it and so what you can do is uh you again build a frame on the wall and then you can velcro it or you can tack it to the wood or screw it in and it's going to have a lot more stretch so that it's you're going to have a much more even um you know uh, even outcome but you can always like remove it and then transport it very easily the fabric and then you can then just you know steam the fabric and um and then you're good to go and then set it up at the next venue now the flooring is a little bit more complicated but essentially there's three types of flooring that i'd recommend okay the most durable one is what i is what we call reverse print uh vinyl flooring okay and so this kind of floor is you know they print a, of like a vinyl like a little thin vinyl you know they print the image they stick it to the bottom of a thin layer of plastic or vinyl plastic or vinyl and then uh, they roll it up and then you install it and you will never that will last you pretty much almost like a lifetime because everybody who's going to be walking on it on this floor is going to be just walking on that little layer like that about two millimeter layer of uh of vinyl so it protects the design the next vinyl flooring that we'd recommend is top print now top print usually you have a very thin plastic coating you have they print it they add the uh, they add the very thin layer of plastic coating so to, it's a bit scratch resistant and then underneath it is a little bit spongy okay and that's good for it so it doesn't really move that much uh, and so that's a very good also cost effective solution uh, but it's a little bit less resistant because it's top print and so after you know a year or two of wear and tear you start seeing the scratches so it's really good if you are uh, looking to save some money and um and yeah and you know and, and still have a really good floor the third option is carpet now carpet uh is actually around the same price range as the um as the top print flooring and so and there are many advantages to that to this one where you know the the carpet is a little bit less expensive it offers some protection if your headsets or controllers fall or if a user falls on the floor it adds a little uh you know has a little bit of a layer a little carpet um, downside it takes a little bit longer to manufacture and produce and so you know it's about balancing you know what are you what are you looking for so that's for the flooring um, then if you're trying to really like not spend any money then we would recommend you pick up some vinyl floor tape okay and then just mark up the floor how you see fit okay just you, here's the design elements that we have here and you can just mark up the floor uh, or if you want to do a temporary setup you, you know you get some black and white some black vinyl floor tape some white vinyl floor tape and then you just start piecing together different shapes and size uh, shapes in the in the play space okay and we have some cool examples over the years of some of our clients doing some really cool stuff with the vinyl floor and uh, they also did it on the walls as well so a combination of both can save you quite a bit of money if you're if you're kind of figuring if you're not sure about um you know where it is where to put it, where to invest your money the first thing i would invest would be definitely would be the walls you'd want to get some nice vinyl banners or some fabric banners or 
straight up uh, some vinyl stickers that you would roll up and install. That will look the best, uh, especially when you're walking in the venue, you see it from far, that'll be number one. Num then after that, look into a flooring, you know, probably, you know, look into carpet or top print or reverse print. If you need any help with any of those items, you can let us know. You can email me or book a call with me and we can definitely go through that with you. And uh, if you're looking to at any moment to uh, just like you want a turnkey solution, well, we have, you know, the Arena Pro. Okay, we're and the Arena Lite. So the higher end um, arena and then the more cost effective one.